Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wally DM. Today we're going to homebrew a magic item that you can use in D&D or Pathfinder, and it is going to be about the Black Lotus, one of the most powerful Magic the Gathering cards of all time. So today I'm going to introduce you to the Black Lotus and Lotus Petals as far as a magic item is concerned, and then I'm going to go over some of the lore and some of the ideas that I use to create this magic item. Now for those of you that are on my Patreon, you can download a PDF of this for free, and everyone else, if you'd like to take a look at this on my website i'll post a link in the description below so let's take a look at the black lotus the DD or pathfinder magic item now for those of you not familiar with magic the gathering or the black lotus this is a card that is extremely powerful because it is a zero casting cost artifact which means you can put it into play on your first turn without expending any mana and if you sacrifice this artifact you're going to add three mana to your pool so if you have a spell that you can cast that costs three mana Mana, you can cast it on turn one for no cost by playing a black lotus beforehand and sacrificing it so i wanted to take this inspiration of the card and the mechanics of the card to create my magic item so let's take a look at this so this is the black lotus a wondrous item rare as a bonus action you may crush this flower in your hand when crushed the mystical energy of the lotus transfers to you restoring a third level spell slot now, if you're not a spellcaster or do not have third level spell slots, then the magic has no effect. So I'm taking the Magic the Gathering card and using it to inspire my magic item. So the zero casting cost is going to transfer to the bonus action. So you just take a bonus action and you crush it in your hand. So you're sacrificing it just like you would in magic. So we're crushing it in our hand and then the card would give you three mana. So I'm restoring a third level spell slot. And I think all of that works together very well. But that could be the end of it. That could be the magic item by itself. But I found some MTG lore that was really interesting. And I want to share that with you because that is the second part of the Black Lotus that I thought was very, very cool. So in an MTG wiki, I found an article about a planeswalker by the name of Jared Cartholion. And Jared stole a Black Lotus and he used it to summon a Shivan Dragon. It says here, using the Black Lotus, he summoned a Shivan Dragon, which appeared to kill Ravidal and destroyed Castle Melmareth. So I thought that would be really cool if we could use a Black Lotus to summon a Shivan Dragon. And for those of you not familiar, Shivan Dragon is also an iconic card from Magic the Gathering. And what I did here was I added an additional line. If you crush two Black Lotus simultaneously, one in each hand, instead you call forth a Shivan Dragon. So you're not regaining a spell slot, but you're calling forth this mystical dragon. It manifests in an unoccupied space that you can see within range. The creature disappears after one hour or when it drops to zero hit points. Now, two things of note on this. First, I've taken a lot of the wording from this from the actual Unearth Arcana in 2021. There is a Summon Dragon Spirit that is now available and in playtesting, and I thought that that was a really neat spell. And so I've encompassed some of that into the ability of crushing two Black Lotuses. But the other thing that I find really neat is the Shivan Dragon costs six mana to summon. It's four and two mountains. And if you have two Black Lotuses in the game, that's going to generate six mana. So I thought tying the two together with the six mana to summon the Shivan Dragon was an absolute necessity. And I really like the flavor of that. Now, the final thing that I wanted to include was if a petal is removed from the Black Lotus, two more petals are also going to detach for a total of three. Now, each of these petals becomes separate magic items called Lotus Petals, and the rest of the flower will wither and die. Now, what is a Lotus Petal? Well, this is another Magic the Gathering card that came out a few years after the Black Lotus, and it was in the common slot, so I wanted to make this a common magic item. And it reads, a petal from a rare Black Lotus. As a bonus action you may crush the lotus petal in your hand when crushed the mystical energy of the petal transfers to you restoring a first level spell slot if you are not a spell caster do not have first level spell slots then the magic has no effect so i thought it would be really cool to be able to take 
three petals from a black lotus because it sacrifices for three mana and those three petals could become lotus petals which are each first level spell slots and i thought this would just be a really cool magic item to throw into a game especially if there are magic the gathering players within my playgroup so that is the black lotus and lotus petals two very powerful magic items that you can include in your DD and pathfinder game now i don't think that i went to the full extent of how powerful they could be i really wanted to stick to the mechanics of the card and a few bits of the mtg lore that i found online so in the comments section below let me know how i did are these items that you could use in your game and if not how would you create the black lotus and lotus petals or what would you do differently i'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with in the comments below thank you very much for watching and on to the next